Hey everyone, welcome to a holiday Christmas special of gear and beer. We've got um, one really rare beer to talk about today and one of our absolute favorites uh, and a cool new product from Yeti that we've been looking forward to talking about. Beer's great. Merry Christmas everyone. We're looking forward to uh, drinking some beer with you and hopefully you'll enjoy what we uh, recommend. So. We're looking a little bit more posh today than we normally do. It's actually Christmas Day. We're here in Southern Maine. We just got, what, eight inches of snow or something eight, like that? Ten. Shovel. Shovel. We got roast beast up in, up in the oven at the moment. Family upstairs. We're seeking a little uh, breather reprieve down here to drink some beer talk fishing. <laughs> no fishing outside. It is uh, chilly, wind blowing. Did walk down earlier and uh, didn't even take a pole. Negative seven in the forecast. Stripers are long since south. <laughs> Let's talk about beer. All right. We got uh, one of the rare beers from New England here. Pretty psyched about this. Bissell Brothers Swish. Uh, Bissell Brothers is a Portland, Maine brewery. Uh, you probably know their other beer, which Andy has here. So Substance. We got uh, Bissell uh, Substance. We got it on tap, actually. So this one's a, a tap beer, a regular in our uh, rotation. Delicious. Uh, as you take a look at it, it is uh, a cross between orange juice and uh, fresh pressed apple cider. So, not in taste, but in looks. And I think it's a full meal in uh, every glass. So, Bissell Substance is um, their all year round weekly release. Um, where it's an IPA at what do we read? Six point something? Six point six? Six point seven percent. In the alcohol level, um, you see, it's, it's a little sort of unfiltered. It's got some of that cloudiness to it. It's got a great hop to it, very hoppy. Uh, it is a tasty mouthful. It's not, you know, to be confused with a crystal clear, sort of highly processed beer. This you get a feeling is coming straight out of the, uh, out of the, um, the uh, beer master's uh, barrel, right to you. We uh, were doing a little taste test earlier today because we got my sister and her boyfriend out visiting from Denver. He's a big beer guy. Um, so we lined up, what did we line up? We lined up uh, Lawson Sip of Sunshine, Maine Beer Company Dinner, which also we were fortunate to get uh, a case each of, um, and then the Swish and the Substance. And looking at the Bissell, Bissells are both pretty cloudy, uh, and then the dinner, um, so much clearer. Yeah, and uh, hard to choose. Uh, it, I think it's almost in your mood, what mood you're in. Um, if you like All a delicious. double IPA, the Swish kills it. Yeah, I mean it's a great, great double IPA, and it is it, it is a or something yeah, a little eight, heavier, eight yep. on the nose. Yeah, and it is rare to get, although not so rare that you can't get some. Uh, but well worth the wait. Line up a couple hours to get it. Sometimes right. I was lucky enough to sort of don't give away the secret. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I was lucky enough to get some without such a long wait. So. And and legitimately too, right yeah. from the shop. Right. So uh, right. encourage you, Bissell's uh, Thompson's Point in Portland. Stop by. They got a great new setup. They um, awesome they, brewery space there. Yeah, yeah. and uh, things are happening there. It's always busy, always cranking. Guys are great, great attitudes, sort of great gear, great beer, and you'll find something that you want there. Right. So and if you're there looking for some food, download the Chicken app from the uh, chicken and waffles place next door. The chicken and uh, fried chicken and the waffles with the spicy maple syrup is just amazing when you've had a couple of beers there. So, well, let's not get confused. We are reviewing the yeah, beer. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the beer is great and, and uh, encourage anyone who, who has a taste for double IPA, grab the Swish. Swish is, uh, did you say it, is a limited release from October through That's April. Right. Yeah. So you need to pick it up now, um, and if you don't get it, you're going to wait to next year, and or grab their double IPA summer release. But for now, I would highly recommend you grab yourself a swish, and uh, while you're in there, always grab a substance because yeah. a pint of this is, uh, as I said, your daily nourishment. Yeah, interesting to the um, Bissell Brothers, their sort of design very different than Maine Beer Company. Maine Beer Company has some like calligraphy on the glasses, white labels, real minimalist. This is like 
you know, what, like Tron or something like that, a little futuristic. <laughs> They've got a cool aesthetic to them. Really, really cool brewery. Three so. bees surrounding, uh, surrounding it for their show. So. Yep. The Soap Brothers beer. Yep, love it. All right, let's talk about gear. We got a new product, well, new to us product from <laughs> Yeti. Uh, this is the Panga 50. So this is a soft duffel, uh, fully waterproof, fully submersible. You can see you can put your full body weight on that, and it's not going to release any air, which means it's not going to let any water in. Um, I've talked before about, um, you guys know I love, well, we're recording video now, uh, love taking uh, photos too when I'm out fishing. Always looking for something to protect my camera gear. Um, I've been using a classic sort of roll top waterproof duffel for a little while. Um, this is a great option if you want to carry a cell phone, a camera, a video big cell camera. Phone. Big, big cell phone. Yeah, this is like a <laughs> tablet, right? Maybe an iPad Pro. No. Um, but fully waterproof. I took this out, saw water fishing, had it up in the bow, was taking waves over the bow. Uh, I was a little nervous about it, but opened it up afterwards and uh, no water got in there at all. So it's a, also, um, having spent enough time with Ben and his camera gear, uh, one of us is always grabbing the duffel off the boat or off the beach or whatever and carrying the duffel. And, the, and camera gear is sort of heavy, yeah. at least in, in our application. Others may choose other things, but to have a backpack option is awesome. It is a great opportunity to uh, be able to toss your stuff uh, on your back and, and hit the road as opposed to sort of busying up a hand. Yeah. And you know, the uses for it, um, because it's so durable in terms of waterproof, uh, it keeps water in as well, which yeah. is, and I know some don't uh, think about that, but you know, if you are dealing with sort of muck stuff that you want to just transport in your car, right. You know, if you're if you're a hunter and out throwing your decoys in, uh, yeah. or some of your sort of mucked up gear or your boots or whatever, right. and zip it on up and chuck it in your car and then just rinse it out when you get home. It's a yeah. great use uh, for both keeping water in and out. Right. Yeah, the bottom is uh, it's really durable. It's a molded bottom, molded ends. Inside, there's no cloth. Um, it's like a hard sort of nylon plastic coating. Uh, there's a couple of little zipper pockets here, so but they're really open mesh. Something you would find you'd like put in a let's like a wetsuit bag or something like that. Um, so this thing you can hose it down inside and out. Um, one thing you're going to notice about it right away is uh, the clips on this. These are like super heavy duty duty metal carabiners. You can unclip these, clip them elsewhere. There's a couple of carabiner uh, spots where you can lash stuff to it. Um, Yeti really didn't cut any corners on this. And, um, and like most Yeti products, I mean, they really sort of thought out where you need stuff. I mean, you got a couple of clips on the front or a couple of uh, tabs on the front to clip stuff onto, but also carry it if you're staying around. You got some right. end stuff so the thing stands on end if you yep. want. Um, it also, it's this, you're not going to be able to see it very well, but it actually has a couple of clips inside that clip together so you can zipper this thing full gear, full bag, and you clip it and then your zipper is already together as opposed to getting a friend of yours to right. squish the bag together right. and, and right. try to haul on the zipper. I mean really yeah. sort of great ideas, little conveniences that you come to expect from uh, Yeti, yeah. sort of like the uh, the rod holder for the cooler. It's got a little uh, little soft patch here on the side. I've been known to clip a couple flies into that if I'm on a boat and uh, we're in some waves. I'll throw some flies in there when I'm sort of unclipping them. Maybe we could line. put fish in it. We could put some fish in it, that's true. Put some ice in here. This is the one thing we were brainstorming. Um, we know maybe one other company has a backpack that's a cooler. Yeti's come out with the hopper that we've actually reviewed before, the two styles. One is sort of like you know, the man purse you throw over your shoulder. Uh, <laughs> those are awesome. Love those. Love Yeti, uh, but it does, it is kind of a man purse. And would love for this to have a little bit of insulation to it. Um, so maybe you could even just throw ice in, throw this over your shoulder. If you're hiking into a fishing spot or it's just a long trail down, um, you can throw ice into here and throw some beers in here and maybe a sandwich or two too. I've done that. Um, but uh, a little bit of insulation would be awesome too. Yeah, it's not, and you know, maybe Yeti will will pick up on it and um, and do it. It's If you could figure out how to have an insulated bag yourself even and throw it in there, it, it just, 
it cries out for the need to have a uh, backpack cooler. Yep. Uh, you know, you're, it's great to carry camera gear, but also if you're heading on out and you want to carry some beer and, and have it cooler, it'd be great. Um, price point on this, it is more expensive. You know, there's a bunch of imitators out there these days that are straight up ripping off Yeti. Um, Yeti was the original. Um, they invest in the fishing community. They've been good to us here. We like them. So, um, highly recommend this duffel. Um, it is fully waterproof, highly durable. They didn't skimp on any of the costs there. So, yeah, the price point's higher than the others. Yeah. And, and it, uh, but you get a better product. You get a better product. Well made, well thought out. And um, if you didn't get you know, it under the tree this year, it's always next year. Right. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bissell Brothers, Swish and Substance. Good stuff. Enjoy. Here's to a new year. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.